Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta here, back with another video um, on the, uh, well, this is the first video on the, my new radio, the Yesu FT710. And uh, this weekend is the um, CQWPX Riddy contest, so of course I wanted to set up Riddy on uh, on this radio with my computer and the software. Uh, Friday, I tried to get it going before the contest started, but had no luck. Worked on it for five hours, tried all sorts of different software, and uh, I was trying to uh, copy some of the things that worked for me on my IC7300. And a big shout out to uh, K0PIR uh, Richard Donahue uh, for those great videos that helped me do ready on my 7300. In fact, I was able to glean some things on Saturday to get it working. And so there are no videos on uh, the Yesus FT710 ready. Uh, mode uh, using November 1 mic mic and MMTTY. So here's the setup. It's fairly straightforward. It's a lot simpler um, than I wanted it to be, I guess. Uh, tore all my hair out, as you can see. I lost all my hair Friday. Uh, but uh, back working ready, worked all last night and uh, made some good contacts. And so here's a ready setup for the uh, Yesu FT710. Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta. Stand by. Okay, Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta back here in the shack. It's around uh, 57 degrees. Don't have the heat on. That's fine. This is a Pittsburgh uh, winter day, but it's going to warm up. And this is the new shack. It's coming along. Um, and so uh, really happy with the way that's set up here. And I like the Yesu 5 FT710. It's a great radio. First thing I'm going to show you is the setup on the... Um, radio itself okay before you do anything let's get the radio set up we're gonna uh, go to function and we're gonna look at radio setting down here and we're gonna go to ready touch screen so it's great let's scroll all the way up to the top i want to make sure you see that none of this has to change all right none of this has to change the only thing that i don't know if it was set up uh, when i first got there but it has to be an rts okay if it's not an RTS, it's not going to work. Everything else is good to go, right? There's nothing you have to do on the radio itself. Of course, you got to hook up a USB cable in the back, but I'm assuming you all know that, that you have to have the um, A to B USB cable. That's it. You don't need anything else. One USB cable. There are two uh, COM ports for this to work. So um, we're going to go back here. I uh, got my power set on 10 watts. I'm going to probably raise that up to about 50 uh, before we try this out. Okay, so uh, it's set to RF power now, so I'm just going to raise that up to 50 watts. So when we try to get a station, we'll have uh, some power. Okay, so now let's go to the uh, the computer settings. And first thing you want to do, of course, is go to your Windows screen. Go down to your Windows symbol right here right click on it go up to your device manager okay and once your device manager pops up you'll go down to ports uh, here's your two ports for your yesu ft710 one is uh, an enhanced port com7 i want to let you know enhanced com port com7 or whatever number yours is but the enhanced com port is for rig control that is for rig control. The standard COM port is for push to talk. That's how Riddy's going to go out of the radio. Okay, so you got to remember that. Your enhanced is for rig control, and your standard is for, for push to talk. Uh, you don't have to change anything out here unless, of course, this is not set to the same speed as... Uh, Right, so I have it set to 38400, data bits 8, stop bits 1, parity none. Both of your COM ports should be set that way. Maybe they're set that way by default, but we'll make sure you get that right. Okay, Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta here. Here is my, of course, I expect that you've already downloaded and up, uh, updated the last one and one Mike Mike logger. Um, if you ever get into a problem where this thing gets hung up, you can actually reset it uh, under the config 
the config menu, I think, yeah. And you can clear the INI file settings. That'll start you all over. If you put stuff in there and it got it all wrong, that's where you're going to go and reset the whole thing. That's what I had to do Friday because I got stuff hung up in there and I had to start all over. But the first thing you're going to do, and you can see already that everything opened up because I've got it set up already, right? But the first thing you're going to do is, of course, change your station data. Put all that station data in there. Sorry for the shaky camera, but uh, that should be uh, go without saying. you got to put all that information in there, okay? The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the config window, right? And then you're going to configure ports, mode control, win key, all right? So remember, you only need the one cable. So here it is, COM7, right? That's your um, enhanced port, right? I think that's what I said, goes to uh, your FT710. You'll choose it. It's available already, okay? In the, uh, It's been updated. You check the CW box, okay? Uh, and then when you check that CW box, look at this, 3840, parity none, data bits eight, stop bits one. Uh, always off, DTR, RTS always off, push to talk via radio command SSB mode. Okay, that's it there, all right? That's all you're gonna have to do there. If you need uh, to have some of this repeated, I can repeat it in the comment section or you can just go back and pause the video. So once you've done that, then in COM, in the next box, you're gonna put COM5, which is your push to talk. You're gonna put Digi here, right? And you're gonna set this here. And these are the settings. DTR always on, RTS always on, right? We don't need DTS and RTS for rig control, but we need it for push to talk. So there you go. Okay, that's it. Everything else is just the way it is on the screen. All right, so now we're going to go to digital modes. And this is where it really gets quite simple. Uh, your TU type is a sound card. You're, you're not using a second digital interface, so there's none. You're going to go to FSK. You're going to, uh, this is your MMTTY, FSK. And then um, you're going to select, hit the select button. And if you're looking for your MMT software, it's on your C drive under HAM or wherever you put it. Hopefully you put it in your C drive or maybe you have an SSD drive. But anyway, it's in where you download uh, MMTTY. There it is. You click on there, you hit OK, and it will put it in the file path. OK, you don't have to worry about anything down here. That's your total setup. Okay, it's going to say COM points not available. That's okay. Just click out of that. So what's going to happen now, once you in engage that, your MMTTY is going to show up. Um, and this is where you're going to be doing your, your uh, calling and responding. But the important thing here is to go to your options on your RIDI engine, setup. Okay, here's your setup screen. Nothing on demodulator, nothing on AFC, nothing on decode. But on transmit, you're going to have EXT FSK64, right? And you'll see that guy. It's usually, it's uh, down, always comes up. Let me see, where's my mouse? Here we go. It's always down here somewhere. There she is, right? It says status OK. If I do anything, I'm going to hit thank. I'm just going to hit thank you right now. Send thank you. That didn't do anything. Let's try it now. There we go. I just hit thank you. And you see that thank you came up on the screen. So you want to make sure that says com. But look, com five, right? Push to talk. Com five. Com seven for the rig control. I can. Uh, this always happens. Gets hung up here. So I got to close this guy out. And. Uh, uh, I can th put that down. And now I'm going to go back to settings here. Uh, the next thing you're going to look at is radio command. So important here, right? Because this has to hit DTR RTS's push to talk, COM5, 3840. All right, that's it. Hit OK. Don't forget that DTR RTS push to talk. And then the last thing is your sound card. 
sound card should be your audio codec. I haven't changed mine. It's a USB audio device. It should be none. I just checked a random box down below. And that's how it works. You hit OK. That is November Mike Mike and MMTY. You'll see it thinks we changed something, so uh, it's going to probably close up and redo. Now, how do all my windows all come back like this? Well, I go down to back to tools and you'll see save window positions, right? I'm going to hit that. It will save window positions. All right. When we come back uh, in two seconds here, we're going to show you the uh, way to, uh, uh, you know, capture a station, hunt a uh, surge and pounce for a ready, uh, a ready connection, ready contact. Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta. Okay, Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta back here. Uh, you can see uh, we're hearing ready signals coming in. You see the mark in space. Uh, and once it, he hits it again, you'll see the two lines. Very nice and clear. Uh, there we go. Look at that. That's good ready right there. And also, you'll see here, look at that perfect little picture of the... Uh, uh, and it's w, W4AR calling CQ. So I'm going to hit search and pounds, call him. I think I have, I don't have him yet. So I'm going to grab him. Doesn't say dupe. He's saying K2PMD, K2PMD 599. I'm going to say his call. And then I'm going to go 599 number 72, 599, thank you. Okay, that's as simple as it is. Now that's that's called unassisted, right? But if I go over here to Telnet and I hit reconnect to the Telnet, I can actually uh, watch uh, the whatever these things are called, you know, the cluster, and click on frequencies. But I don't like doing that. I like doing it on assisted, finding, really searching, hunting, searching, and pouncing. So I'm going to turn off Telnet. But that's the way to do it. Assisted. Assisted. That means you're being assisted in the contest uh, by, a, by a cluster, right? I didn't. I found him by tuning around, right, and finding the, uh, finding the signal on the waterfall. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. Leave your comments in the comments section if you need more help with this or if you're in troubles. Uh, I'm good on QRZ. So uh, drop me an email or drop me a comment. I'll be sure to respond. Respond to everybody. Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta, 7-3.